your Shopify store. They usually send ads. You run some ads, you get some sales, you optimize your front end, you are always looking for a better conversion rate, but how do you know which are your best products? The most profitable, the ones that convert the most. Which products work better as an upsell or as a cross sell? Or something as simple and important as knowing your Shopify store's weekly sales curve. Let me tell you that by only looking at your Shopify store's dashboard once a week, isn't going to give you this kind of insights. If you want to scale your Shopify business, which I know you do, you need to know what's happening with your data. As we are always saying on this channel, what you don't measure, you can't improve. That's why today I'm going to show you how to get these kind of insights from the data that your Shopify store already has. This will be a no code solution for everyone and it won't take more than five minutes to set up. Now, the difference between this tutorial and other ones that you may find is that at the end of this video, I'm going to give you a free report template for your Shopify store. That means that you're going to invest your time analyzing data instead of creating reports. Hey reporters, Blanco here. And in this YouTube channel, we help other marketers like yourself achieve crazy results just by leveraging the data that you already have. Now, before we begin, for this tutorial, you're going to need an admin access for your Shopify store and a Google account as we'll be using Google Lookers studio that's all i wasn't kidding on the easy part now let me walk you through the basics we're going to take your shopify stores data and put it into google Lookers studio for you to model discover and actually play with as there are no native integrations between these two apps we're going to have to use a third-party connector the porter metrics connector now let's get right to the screen and make some magic happen so we're finally going to connect your shopify store to google Lookers studio the first step is actually really, really easy. You just need to log into your Shopify store with an admin account that's really important and that's it, all right? Let's go to the second step. Now, when you're logged in, you just go to portermetrics.com. This is portermetrics.com. Now you just go to make a report. These are all the different apps that we support. Now you're gonna go and click on Shopify. Now this will open a new tab where you're gonna have to log in with your Google account. One thing, log into the Google account that you're gonna use for the full extent of the process that we're gonna work on here. That way you're gonna save yourself a lot of headaches in the process. So I'll just log into my Google account. This will take you straight to the Google Looker Studio authorizations page. This is basically where you connect Shopify to Google Looker Studio. And it's done in two steps. The first one, as you can see, is already grayed out. That is because you only have to do it once and that's it. This is basically where Google asks you, hey, we didn't make this connector. Are you sure that you trust the people who did? And of course, you'll say yes. You don't get to have over a thousand customers by betraying people's trust. So when you get to this page, you'll click on this button. And after that, you just have to log into the Google account that you already logged into. That would be it. Now let's move to the second authorization, Shopify. This one is when you tell Shopify that you approve of the process of getting your data out of Shopify and into Google Looker Studio. So here you'll just click on authorize. This will open another window. And as you can see, it's asking you for two fields, your shop name and your token. So now just leave this window assist, don't close it please, and just go back to your Shopify store. There. This is where we'll get the information on those two fields. So let's get field number one, the easiest one, your shop name. All you do here is you get your domain, everything that's before the dot and copy that. That would be your shop name. Copy that and paste it on the field. Now let's go to field number two, your token. This will take more clicks. So just keep in mind that you can pause the video whenever you want. You'll go to apps in the sidebar. Now you go to app and sales channel settings. You go right here to develop apps and click on create an app. Just name the app whatever you want. I'll name mine Porter Connector. Click on the person that's creating this app, they would, this would be me, and just create app. Now you need to configure admin API scope, so you can do it from the overview tab, or you can even go to the configuration tab and do it from there. Just click on that, and this page is where you select all the different data that's going to go over to Google Looker Studio. So you're going to look for the following three things, read customers, read orders, and read products. <laughs> As you can see, I've selected three of them and they're right here. So now that you have selected the three, you just click on save. There it is, configuration saved. Now, all you need to do is go to install app. You can either install app here or you can even go to API credentials and install it from there. I'm gonna click here, just install. And that's it, you install the app. Now, this is your token. So you reveal the token once, mine's gonna be grayed out. You copy that and you take it to the second field. So now I have filled both of the fields, add store. And that's it, you connected the store. Now you just choose here, next, and that would be it. As you can see, you can close this window. Now you're gonna go back to Google Looker Studio. That's it for Shopify. You have connected Shopify to Google Looker Studio. So now you gotta set up the connector. All you have to do here is select your shop, 
and then just click on this check mark. If it's not clicked, click it. If it's clicked, just leave it like that. What is this going to do? This is going to give you the free report that we were talking about at the beginning of the video. So just keep in mind to have it clicked. Now you just connect. Now, Google Looker Studio has received all the different information that you want to send from Shopify. So as you can see, here are all the different dimensions that you're going to send over. Just click on create a report right here. And again, create a report. You just connect the Shopify to Google Looker Studio. You might be asking, now what? Well, now you wait. Our connector is pulling all the data from a Shopify store and depending on how much information you have, it's going to take from 2 to 24 hours. So while we wait, I'm going to show you exactly how to use this template to your benefit to get even more insights from your Shopify store. As you can see, there are six pages to this template. The first one's called Setup and that's where we are right now. The Setup page contains the whole description of what I'm about to tell you and besides, it has some resources that I find really useful. The first one is the metrics and dimensions list. This is where you can find all the different dimensions and metrics from the Shopify connector. This is the report template guide in case that you don't want to watch this video again, you can just follow along reading. You can even go here and access our course on Google Data Studio. More templates is going to send you to our full gallery and you can find even more free templates over there for all of our apps. Now you have some questions, you can go to the help center or even contact support right from the template. Now let's start. Let's go to the first page, overview initial page. As you can see, you're going to find different information. You're going to find your orders, your returns, net sales, gross sales, total sales. You're going to find a view of orders and net sales. Also, you're going to find a view of what are your most ordered products. And of course, you're going to see the full list view of your orders received. Now, if you go to page two, that would be order details. Now, page two will focus on the orders. Now, you can set an objective and watch how many orders you're missing to get to that objective and a much more detailed look on your orders. Now let's go to page number three, product inventory. This page will basically show you your product's performance. Page number four, acquisition reports. This page will show you your traffic and sales per acquisition channel. This is actually my favorite page and where I get most of my insights from. And on page number five, customer details, this is going to show you a full view of your customers and a detailed behavior in your store. Now, as you can see, this is a pretty complete report that will actually show you insights on your Shopify store. This is completely free. Go grab it. Now, there are some perks of reporting with Porter Metrics and Google Looker Studio. For starters, data will sync automatically. So you won't need to go to your Shopify dashboard and scramble around to get insights. We will deliver them to you. Another cool perk are the sharing capabilities. You will only need to share this report once. And from then on, anyone that you share it with will be able to see the edits that you make to it. Which means that you can finally say goodbye to updating reports on the spreadsheet and then sending them through email each time. Finally, you can do this with as many Shopify stores as you manage. That means that you can get all your Shopify stores data into one single report instead of going to each admin and try to pull the data to combine it in a spreadsheet. I told you it was going to be worth it. And that would be all for today. You have successfully connected your Shopify store to Google Looker Studio and got a free template in the process. If you are here, let me thank you. These videos are a titanic effort for our small marketing team. So if you got some value out of it, I would really appreciate if you give us a thumbs up, a comment on your thoughts or your questions, and even I would love it if you guys would subscribe. I have a lot more of Google Looker Studio wisdom to give, so don't miss out. See you in the next one.